Hey, it's Pastor David again, and it's time for the children's message. So if you have any children or youth who are nearby who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over. Got something to share with them I think they may find interesting. Hey guys, so do you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, I know. A better question might be, who doesn't like to eat? What's your favorite things to eat? Okay, uh, pizza, yeah, hamburgers, works for me. Salad, you like salad, rabbit food, huh? Great, healthy, good for you. Anybody else? Hot dogs, yeah. Okay, we've named off a lot of uh, favorite foods that uh, people like to eat. Well, what if every morning you could open your front door, go out in the yard, and pick up your favorite food off the ground, all you can eat. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? If you don't have to buy it, you don't have to go to the store and get it, it's just out in the front yard, you just go out, pick it up and eat it. Well, we read in the Bible about a time when something almost exactly like that happened. You see, God's people, the Israelites, had been held prisoner and captive in Egypt for many years. And then Moses came along at God's leading, and Moses led them to freedom and to leave Egypt. But then after they had been wandering around lost in the desert for a couple of months, the people started to grumble and complain against their leaders, Moses and his brother Aaron. Um, so, yeah, let me, let me hear some complaining and grumbling, okay? Somebody say, oh man, Somebody else say, I don't like this. Somebody else say, I want to go home. Okay, all at once, all together. Oh man, I don't like this. I want to go home. Well, that's about how the Israelites must have sounded. They were saying, we had it better when we were in Egypt. At least we had plenty to eat, God. You brought us out here in the desert to starve us to death. Well, God heard their complaining and God told Moses that in the evening he would send birds called quail to cover the camp so that people could catch them and would have meat to eat. And not only that, but in the morning after the dew had dried up, there would be something on the ground called manna. And that manna was food like bread that God sent to them for everyone to have something to eat. So. Now, we don't have any real manna here, but we're going to pretend that this green is grass out in the front yard, outside of our tent, and I'm going to sprinkle some popcorn out here. And it, I don't know if manna looked like popcorn or not, but maybe it did. All they had to do was just go out and pick it up and eat it. Well, they hoped they were a better shot than me. Yeah, and just eat all the manna they wanted. And they didn't have anything to complain about anymore as far as not having food to eat. Well, why did God do this for those grumblers and complainers? Well, He did it so that they would know that He loved them and that He would take care of them. God hadn't brought them out of Egypt into the desert to starve to death. God was going to see to it that they made it to the land which God had promised them. So next time you're eating popcorn, just sort of get this mental picture in mind of manna laying out on the ground for God's people to eat. You know, sometimes you and I grumble and complain, don't we? We forget that God loves us and that He provides us with everything we need. So instead of grumbling and complaining, we can say, thank you, God, and let's do that right now. Let's pray. Dear God, sometimes we grumble and complain. When we do, help us remember that every good thing we have comes from you. We thank you for the children and youth of our church and community, all those watching this video today. Bless them and their families. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks so much for watching.